Hi and welcome to GearWire.com. Today we're taking a look at the Boss GE7 Equalizer. It's a graphic e equalizer uh, used to basically get different tonal colors out of your instrument. Let's take a look at it. Alright, inside the box we have uh, important notes. Uh, safety, maintenance, comes with every Boss pedal. Uh, we also have their uh, catalog, the, the 2005 lineup, is with this pedal. Um, product registration, their postage is paid. And, of course, the all-important manual. This one folds out like this. Basically, just tell you how to connect it up, different settings you can use, and also where the battery would go. That's, uh, over here. Alright, let's take a look at the pedal. Alright, this is a seven band graphic equalizer. Basically what that means, we see we have seven bands of equalization, there's seven of these, and each has their own specific frequency range given up here in number of hertz. And then we also have an output level slider, uh, which also helps um, control the sound. We have our standard quarter inch input and output. We also have an input for a Boss PSA pedal adapter. And just like every Boss single effects pedal, this one comes with the battery built in and it goes right under the um, toggle switch. All you have to do is unscrew this little guy here. And that's the Boss GE7 equalizer out of the box. Alright, we're back and we're taking a look at the GE7 equalizer from Boss. It's wired in and ready to go. I'm playing with a American Standard Fender uh, Telecaster and that's plugged into a Marshall JCM2000 half stack which is mic'd up with a Shure SM57. So let's take a listen to what we're uh, going to be hearing when the pedal is off. All right, I'm gonna bring the pedal in. So we really don't hear much of a difference at all. Uh, that's because all of our bands right now are set to zero. And um, like I said before, this is a seven band EQ and each of these uh, control, you, you can either add or cut a certain amount of gain in each frequency band. Down here we see the low end, 100 hertz, 200 hertz, 400, 800, and then it goes on up to 1.6 thousand hertz, or um, 1,600 hertz, and 3,200, 6.4 thousand, so 6,400. Um, if we would like to add some low end to our sound, we would just raise one of these, or two of these, any amount. So you can see that adds a good amount of low end. You can also cut the low end. There's also, you can also control the mid-range. A lot of people like to uh, do like a mid-range scoop on here. So you would just lower somewhere in the eight ra the 800 range, 1.6K, 400. You get sort of a hollow sound, which a lot of people like. You can also boost these frequencies. So you can get sort of a more aggressive tone out of it. You can also bring down the high end as well to make it uh, a little duller sort of sound. And you can also boost the high end to add some sparkle. Mm -hmm. 
And so you can get all sorts of different uh, sounds out of here. Um, a lot of people like the mid-rangey sound where you also cut the high end. So you can boost certain frequencies while you cut others. Sort of get a lo-fi. Makes it sound kind of like you're playing through a small radio or something if you boost the uh, 1.6 and bring everything else down. And then you can also do the opposite. Bring up the high end, low end, cut the mids. Referred to sort of as a scooped out sound. Um, you can also give all sorts of different curves, mostly low end. And you can go the other way as well. There's a lot of different possibilities on here. You get seven different bands to choose from, as well as the level knob. But uh, right in the middle, pretty much not doing anything. So that's the, uh, the Boss GE7 graphic equalizer. Thanks for taking a look at it with us uh, here at GearWire.com.